Now, for today's class, we're supposed to go over, we're going to be learning about ladybugs. Ladybugs are a kind of red bug with little black spots. But before we go into the reading on the ladybugs, we're going to be doing some practice for the words today. So for today's class, we're probably just going to go over the words, practice reading, um, pronunciation, and for the understanding of these words. So first, we're going to start on the words. Next class, we'll probably review these words and then go over the reading part that goes with them. So these are the words that we're looking at today. Um, number one, two, three, four, and five. There are five words. This one here, C-H-A-N-G-E. Uh, number one, which is this one here. William, what is this one? Final. Final. Very good. Um, final is the last of something. So the final race, like from the last lesson, we read about the race and they had a lot of different races, but the final race was the last one. Um, then we have this one here. Jeremy, what's this? Several. 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 Uh, what is several? I have several cars. <laughs> toy cars. I only have one real car, but I have several toy cars. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Several is kind of a word that means many. Not a lot, but more than, more than a little. So when we're talking about several things, it means you have, you have, uh, a, a, you have kind of three or four or five. Um, you don't have a big number, but it's not a small number either. So many people could say, I have several books. It's not a lot of books, but there are several books there. Usually it's a term used for a, a much smaller number. So this kind of looks like a lot of books, but there are some people that have a lot more books. Um, then we have this one here. What is this one, William? This has got the E dash E, so it starts with the long E sound. Mm. Me, me, emer, emerge. Yes, emerge. Very good. Mm -hmm. Emerge from something means to come out, to come out of something. So the, we could say the chicken emerges, emerge from the egg. Or um, we can hide ourselves inside of our shirt and emerge from the shirt. <laughs> emerge means to come out or you can emerge from your room many children like to stay in their room to play and then they emerge or come out of their room to to watch tv or to eat or do something else so when you emerge you just come out and then we have this one here jeremy change change very good what is change change Here we have it. Oh, I got a pencil I can change the pencil into a pen you see right now it is a a pencil right so right now it's a pencil and then we're going to we do like this and and then we change the pencil into a pen Ta -da! It changed. Wow, magic. <laughs> There's a pencil. What? Uh, so when you change something, you turn it into something else, or you can even change the color of it. Um, in this one, we can change the green pen into a red pen. Ready? Oh, that didn't work. I don't have a red pen. Hmm. Yes, I do. <laughs> so change the green, change the pen. Let's see, watch, here we have our pen. And then we change it. One, two, three, <laughs> change. The pen changed colors. Oh. It's behind it. <laughs> All right, uh, so that is change something. When you change it, you make it different in some way. Uh, make something different. 
children change into big children, and then big children change into adults. We change by by getting bigger, more hair, or uh, maybe some people might even change the eye color. So if you don't like green or blue eyes, then you can change your eye color using contact. Put something in, and then you have. A different color. Um, all right, and then we have this one here. William, what's that? Survive. Yeah, very good. The I dash E makes the I sound. Survive, survive. Uh, when you survive, it means to stay alive, to not die. So when you're playing a game, you don't want someone to, cha, 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 oh, game over. Boom. You don't want to die in the game. So one way to survive is to get stronger. Level up. Um, to get stronger or to be better at the game so that you can survive and not die. Be able to fight the strong monsters and, and be able to live. All right, so let's go over these words a little bit more. First one, we got this one here. Jeremy, what's this? Final. Final. Remember, the final is the last thing. So here we have a row of ducks. Quack, 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 quack. The final duck is the last duck that comes along. So in this one, it is the fourth duck. There's only four ducks, so the final one is number four. What is final, Jeremy? Something that is final comes at the end. Yeah. At the end, the last or the end thing. So or the last class we did the reading about uh, Florence Griffith Joyner, Flojo, and her race where she was racing in the Olympics. Um, their final race, she did very well, and she was the winner. She was the winner of all of her races, and she also won the final race, the last race. Hmm. Then we have all of these other sports that we can play too. Each one comes with a, in the end of the game, you try to get as many points as you can so that your team can win. Um, what sport do you like to play? What is sport number one, Jeremy? What is this girl doing? What sport is that? Tennis. William's got it. Very good. That one is tennis. Do you like to play tennis, Jeremy? No. What? Yeah, there's a lot of running. It's running over here. Hit the ball. 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 <laughs> And if you can't make it back to the other place, like, oh, my God. Please, yeah. <laughs> it's easy for people to give up when you have to play a game where they're always running back and forth and back and forth. I see all of these sports are kind of like that one. Um, soccer is the same way. You kick the ball, kick the ball, kick the ball, and then somebody, whoop, kick the ball, kick the ball. And ugh. Then you got to run after him, try and get the ball back. Um, and then we have this one here. What is this one? What sport is this? Baseball. Yeah, there you go. Baseball. Um, and then we have sport number three. What is this one? Soccer. Yeah, okay. soccer. A lot of countries like to say football. No, not football. Not in America. In America, we call this one soccer. Soccer three? Soccer. There you go. Um, that one is, so we got tennis, baseball, and soccer. Which of these sports is your favorite? Which one do you like more, William? Do you like tennis, baseball, or soccer? Eh? You got tennis, got baseball, soccer. <laughs> what do you like, William? Basketball. Basketball. So not even one of these. You like basketball. Okay. Basketball is cool. I like basketball. That's a lot of running too. Ugh. I'm quite lazy. <laughs> um, Jeremy, how about you? What's your favorite sport? Tennis, baseball, soccer, basketball, another sport? Basketball, soccer, and more. Basketball, soccer, and others? Hmm. 
Yeah, those are all good sports. And these are also good exercises too. All of these sports can help keep your body strong. Good, good for exercising. Um, there are other things that you can do which help keep your mind strong, um, such as board games or Go, chess. Those kind of games can help keep your mind strong. Not really keep your arms strong or your legs strong, but they're good exercise for your mind. Um, so sports are always very good, uh, especially soccer. You get to run and kick the ball. Then you have this one here, William. <laughs> What's this word? Zero. Um, and it does have the e dish e, but it doesn't make the long e sound. This one actually makes the se ver all several. Several. Yeah, it's kind of a special word in that way. It doesn't really make that long e sound. Where most other words with the e dash e, they might say e. Um, this one does not. So it's just several. Several meaning many, not a lot, but not a little. So in this one, he only has two, that's only a little. If you give him more, now he has five acorns, woohoo! Now he has several acorns. So several is kind of a number between like three, four, five, six, um, but not a hundred. A hundred would be a lot, but only, only this number is not a little, but it's not a lot. So that's kind of several. Several has a synonym for some. I have some acorns. I have some cars. I have some clothes. Um, what is several, William? Several, when you have several of something, you have more than two, but not very many. Yeah, so it's usually more than two. Two would just be a couple, or three is usually a few, or four, five, or six could be several. So it's, it's more than a little, but it's not, not very many either. Um, so here are some, some clothes, different articles of clothing. Uh, you got number one, Jeremy, what, what's number one? What are those? Eh? Uh, uh, pants. Yeah. <laughs> Jeans. Jeans also works too, but we go with pants because there are different kinds of pants. Um, then you have number two. What's this one, William? Mm. Sweet. Sweaters. 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 Yeah, those are sweaters. They help keep you warm. Um, you don't want to wear a sweater during the summertime because it's too hot, but wearing sweaters during the winter can help to keep you warm. Um, then you have number three, Jeremy. Uh, T-shirt. Yeah, you can go with T-shirt or you can just go with shirts. T-shirts, shirts, both are fine. Um, they are T-shirts, it's just a kind of shirt. Um, so shirts, you can wear the long sleeve shirts, you can wear short sleeve shirts. T-shirts are more along the lines of short sleeve shirts. They're very basic. Um, so we got pants, sweaters, and shirts. Which one of these clothes do you have more of? Which one do you have a lot of? Which one do you have less? Which one do you have a lot of, Jeremy? Shirts. You have a lot of shirts? Hmm. Yes. I see. How about William? Which one do you have a lot of? Mm. Pants, sweaters, shirts? Pants. Pants? Hmm. Pants. I have a lot of shirts. I got a lot of shirts. I like sweaters though. Sweaters are good during the winter time. It's starting to get warmer now, so the sweater will end up going bye-bye. <laughs> then we have this one here. Uh, who's starting? Jeremy, I think. Jeremy, what is this one? And merch. E dash E. This one actually makes the long E sound, so you got E merge. Um, and then here we have an egg. Uh, we're going to have, there is going to be an animal that is going to emerge or come out of the egg. What animal do you think is going to emerge from the egg? Bird. A bird? Jeremy's going with a bird. Maybe a rabbit? Do rabbits come from eggs? No. <laughs> no. The rabbits come from a rabbit. Yeah, rabbits are live birth animals. They come from a mother. Um, some animals come from eggs. Some animals come from mothers. William, uh, what animal do you think is going to emerge from the egg? 
Maybe it's a snake egg. <laughs> Probably not in this kind of nest though. What animal is going to emerge from the egg, William? Hmm. Bird? A bird? Both going with a bird? Let's see. So we're going to crack the egg open. Uh, what is it? Chick. It's a chick. A chicken. It's a baby chicken. A chick. Very good. All right. So let's go over these ones. We'll read and find out what is emer emerge. Emerge. Uh, Jeremy, what is emerge? To emerge means to appear slowly from a hidden or covered place. Hidden, yeah. Um, if it was an I dash E H I D E N, then that would be hidden, but this one's H I D D E N, so it kind of cuts off the I dash E. Instead of an I dash E, it's an I dash dash E. So it doesn't really make the I sound hidden, hidden. A hidden or covered place, just a place you cannot see, and then when someone emerges, they come out. Um, to come out from some place, to appear or to come out. Um, like how some animals emerge bloop, from the water. Boo, 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 and then they go back into the water. Uh, so we have animal number one. William, what's animal number one? Mm. What is this animal here? Hmm. Mm. Mm. Hello, William. What am I? <laughs> whale. A whale. Yeah, very good. That one is a whale. Jeremy, what's this one? Dolphin. Yeah, there is our dolphin. Um, and then we have animal number three. This one is called a W A L R U S. What's that one, William? Where? Wall. Walrus. Russ. R uh, Walrus. Walrus. Yeah, I like the the whale is the biggest. The wall. The dolphin is probably the smartest. Um, the walrus is very big, but not near as big as the whale. Um, which of these animals? Which of these sea mammals do you like more? Do you like the whale, the dolphin, or the walrus? Dolphin. The dolphin? Why? Uh. <laughs> what makes you like the dolphin? The dolphin's very clever. They're kind of cute too. I mean, a lot of people can play with the dolphins. Dolphins like to play with, with other dolphins. They're very playful. The whale? Probably not as playful. I mean, you can't really play with a whale. They can, ooh, might squish you. And the walrus, I don't know. I never played with a walrus. I've never played with a dolphin either, but I've seen other people play with dolphins. Hmm. How about William? Which animal do you like? The whale, mm -hmm. the dolphin, or the walrus? Dolphin. Dolphin? Mm. Okay. Dolphins are cool animals. I like dolphins. Um, wh walruses is also very interesting too, because you know they got um, those big long teeth, and they even got whispers. They're they're kind of like cats, meow, because they got whiskers. <laughs> and then we have this one here, William. What's this word? Survive. Yeah, survive. Uh, remember, survive is a way to stay alive. So in this one, you gotta find a way to survive in the rain. The rain is gonna kill you, no. Um, so you have to find a way to survive. What is a survive? I wonder why. To survive means to alive. Yeah, to stay alive. To live, to stay alive, to not, to not die. You want to survive, it means you want to stay alive. 
Um, there are a lot of ways to survive. Everybody needs water, obviously. You got, I mean, these are ways to help plants survive. Um, and one of the most important ones, I like the, this one here. Number one, what is number one, Jeremy? A hose. Yep, that one is a hose, a water hose, a garden hose, whatever you want to call it. It is still a hose. How about number two, William? What's that? Bing, bing, bing. Yeah, a pot, a flower pot, or just pot by itself. And then we have this one here, which actually can help keep animals away from your plants. Um, what is this one, Jeremy? Net. Net? Uh, well, a net is much, much smaller than that one, usually thinner. You can use something to, you can use a net to catch something. Um, but this one is actually called a fence. Keeps the animals away. A net would be a much thinner kind of material. Um, so if we go with like this one here, let's see. Uh, N E T, net. Let me go with some pictures, clear that out. Boop. This one is a kind of net used to catch something. Not so much to stop something though. Look, catch me. Um, but then you have um, a different kind of net too. So these nets are usually used for catching fish, catching butterflies, um, but there is uh, another kind of net you can use to keep things away, which uh, people use uh, what they call a mosquito, M-O-S-Q-U, mosquito net. A mosquito net is something that people usually use to keep the bugs away. So, I mean, a, a net is nice, it's useful, um, but they usually have much smaller spaces for, for smaller animals so that they can't get through. Um, this one, more of a fence, is to keep the big animals away. Like if the rabbit wants to eat your carrots or your lettuce, then you need to use the fence to keep the rabbit away. No rabbits allowed. <laughs> That's kind of difficult to do because you know rabbits, they can dig go underneath the fence. Ha <laughs> ha! Sucker, thought you could keep me out. How about this one? William, what's this? Change. Mm, change. Um, in this one, we've got a chameleon. A chameleon can change colors. So right now the chameleon is green. The green matches with leaves, but it can also change to be orange or blue or purple. Um, and when it changes, it's a way of just changing the color. Ding, 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 ding. Hmm. What is change, William? Change. When things change, they become different in some way. Yeah, become different. So you change one thing into something else, or you can just change, change a small part of it. So here we've got ways to, you know, if, if you want to create a special picture, you would change it by adding something to it. You can add some stars or some bows or some glitter. So these ones here, uh, number one, we call these stars. Put some stars on your picture, makes it more pretty. Um, then we have this one, which is glitter, shiny. And then we have these ones here, which are called bows. Bow ties, bows, we go with bows. Um, so let's see, we we'll add some stars here. We got, I think we have a star. Oh, here we go. Some stars make it more interesting. Bring, 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 bring. Here are some stars over here and put some stars everywhere. Oh, it makes it more interesting. Woo, stars. Oh. And then we can do glitter. I don't really have glitter. Hmm. But I can do dots. Yellow. Shiny. No, 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 no. And we can do some green, shiny, la, la, la. It makes it look more special. And some blue, la, 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 la. Different color glitter. I like glitter. Glitter is very shiny. It makes something look more special, more interesting. Um, and of course, you can add a bow to it to make it beautiful too. Like that there. And then here we have our, our tie right there. Ding! And it makes it nice and pretty. Um, so which of these would you like to put into your hair? What do girls like to put into their hair? Do they like the, the stars, the glitter, or the bows? What do a lot of girls like to put in their hair? 
to, to change their hair, to make their hair more pretty, more beautiful. Do you put stars in your hair? Probably not. Glitter? Glitter. <laughs> that would probably be a bad idea. <laughs> Glitter might be very difficult to get out of your hair. Mm, but bows, bows are a very common thing. So a lot of girls like to put the bows in their hair. They'll pull their hair back and then they'll tie a little bow. And then they have a bow in their hair. Pretty. Um, so that's kind of a decoration. So a way of changing your hair. If you have long hair, you don't, you're a boy. Girls usually have long hairs, uh, long hair, and they'll, they'll put a bow to help tie their hair and make themselves look more pretty, prettier. So we've got these ones here, several change and emerge. Then we also have survive final and this one. So let's go over some sentences. We'll practice the sentences and we'll get to the reading part after this, I think. So we'll start with this one. Jeremy, help me read this one about the passengers, the people on the train, the passengers. The passengers got off the... final car of the train yeah could be the final car so this one these train cars this part here is one train car um, this one is one train car and then usually you have another train car so this one could be train car one train car two train car three um, so this train car here could be the the last train car on the train how about this one Bing. william you can see the moon. Um, you can see the moon. Dun, 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 dun. I'm here. Now you can't see me? Now you can see me. The moon comes out from behind the clouds. Which of yeah. these words means to come out? Mm. Several. Several? Mm. Several means some or many, but not many, not really many. Some. There are some moons. There would be some clouds, but this one's just one big cloud. Huh? E emerge. Ah, yeah. So the, right now the moon is, was behind the clouds. And then the moon, whoop, it comes out from behind the clouds. So read this one again, William. You can see the moon, you are from behind the clouds. Yeah. Good, good, good. How about this one? Uh, Jeremy. This plants can survive in the dry desert with little water. And we use survive. Yeah, these are, most plants can't really survive well in the desert. If you were to grab a flower and just try to plant it in the desert, it probably would, would die because the desert doesn't get a lot of water. It only gets a little bit of water. Um, but these are the kind of desert plants which are good at surviving with just a little bit of water. How about this one? William. The tree leaves change their color in the fall. Mm. So usually during the summertime, the leaves are green. And then during the fall, those leaves will change colors to be red or yellow or even brown. And then they'll start to fall off of the tree. So they do change their color in the fall. How about this one, Jeremy? The boy borrows. One, two, three, four, five books. Several books from the library. Yeah, he borrows several books from the library. When you borrow something, you're expected to bring them back. So he's going to use these books for now, and then later he will bring the books back because they're not his. He's just using them, borrowing them. Uh, so he borrows several books from the library. Now that takes us into the next part, which we're gonna go over the reading because there's not too much review on the words. So we'll have a chance to go over this reading here, which is all about ladybugs uh, from creepy to cute. So we're gonna do this reading about these ladybugs here and um, 
possibly see if we can't watch a video on the ladybugs. Hold on one second, okay? Let me see. Let's see. Ladybugs. Do, 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 do. Da, 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 da. Hmm. Bugs are cool. I like ladybugs. But they're kind of scary. Nine surprising facts. The stunning life cycle of a ladybug. Now, now we could do this one. Hmm. Let's see. These here, we've got some different types of ladybugs. They're lady beetles, not ladybugs. Hmm. Huh. Some of them are yellow and black. And then we have this one. They consume a lot of pests. Oh, these are the, the kind of aphids. These little, little bugs um, eat the plants. So the ladybugs eat the bugs that eat the plants. So ladybugs are kind of good. Many of the ladybugs, this, this ladybug is the kind that eats those, those small bugs. Yum, 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 yum. So ladybugs are good. I like ladybugs. Their spots serve as a warning. Do not eat me. I do not taste good. <laughs> um, they may eat their own eggs. <gasps> the ladybug might eat its own eggs. Oh, no. They have hidden wings. Oh, here's one. Uh, let's see. Let's see this one here. Hmm. Yeah, so there's a lot of different kinds of ladybugs there. Um, let's read this one from creepy to cute. What is creepy? Creepy is something that's kind of uh, a little bit scary. <clears throat> so they go from scary to being something that's cute. So right now, this is what a ladybug looks like when it's younger, when it's just a larva stage, before it actually changes into the cute ladybug that we know. With the ladybugs that we know are usually uh, like this, they're red, and they have the little black spots. Let's see, and the head, boop, bing, bing. There's a ladybug, and we draw some legs, boop, 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 and boop. And then we can color this in. Where's my highlighter? There it goes. Color it in so it's nice and red. Na 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 na. There we go. The red ladybug. And we can put some black spots on it. There's our black spots, and of course it has a black head. Red and black, ladybug. So this is cute. This one is cute. This one is creepy. Ugh. Creepy is kind of ugly, scary. Ugh. All right, so let's read this one. We're gonna start with Jeremy. Jeremy, help me read this one, please. Ladybugs, mm. from creepy to cute. People think ladybugs are cute, but they start out creepy. Here's how they change. The mother lays eggs. After several days, little creatures hatch that look like bumpy worms with legs. These creatures are called larvae. Larva. Larva. Mm. The larva need food to survive. They eat tiny bugs and grow larger. Yeah. What is what is larva? I don't know. You can think of it as a, a baby ladybug. It hasn't grown up bigger yet, but when it first comes out of the egg, we call it a larva. So a larva is usually the, the worm state of many insects, like this one here. Boop, 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 boop. Um, we have what's called the caterpillar. You know what a caterpillar is, right? Yes. Yeah, the caterpillar is the kind of... Um, 
insect here. It's got lots of little legs. Da -da 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 -da. Um, and it kind of crawls around on the leaf, eats the leaf, and then it goes into a cocoon. Boom, 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 boom. Like this here. It puts itself inside of the cocoon. Ta -da, from the tree. And then eventually it comes out. It changes. Nah. It changes into, into what? It's a butterfly. Yeah, it changes itself into a butterfly. Um, so it starts out as a larva. Well, actually, before even before this one, um, it starts out as something else. It might start out as an egg. Comes out as the egg, and then it changes into a caterpillar. So this one is the larva form. It's the baby version of it. After the egg, then it goes into a larva, then it goes into a cocoon, uh, or what we call the pupa, pupa stage. Um, and then it goes into the, the butterfly. So most insects usually have different stages where they change from one thing to another. So this one, it is a ladybug. It's a very ugly ladybug, but ladybugs don't start out cute. They start out creepy. Um, and in order for them to change into ladybugs, they need to eat. They eat food, they grow bigger, and then eventually they'll change into a ladybug. Let's read this one, William. Mm. The back of each larva opens inside the ladybug is changing into its final form. It is wrapped in a shell to protect it. This rapid wrapped up, wrapped up ladybug is called a pupa. Pupa. The, Pew a makes pupa. a U sound. Pupa. The pupa goes of a rapid change soon the colorful lady bug is ready to em emerge and fly away yes very good so the back of the larva opens inside the ladybug is changing so when the ladybug first comes out of the 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 larva when it comes into the it goes it, it comes out as a larva and then it comes changes into something else but when it first comes out it's actually not red it's more of a yellow color um and eventually when the when the little la yellow ladybug gets older that color will change to be red and it'll have these little black spots on it um the red and black is to to warn other insects don't eat me i'm not delicious it's kind of, you know, because some people don't like to eat the red things. They think red is bad. Um, but, you know, we eat tomatoes. Tomatoes are good. Tomatoes are red. <laughs> um, how about this one? William, we'll try again. Re read this one for me, William. Ladies. Cute. 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 People think ladybugs are cute, but they start out creepy. Here's how they change. The mother lays eggs mm -hmm. after several days. Little creatures hatch that look like bumpy worms with legs. They these creatures are called larva. Yeah. Larva. Larva need food to survive. They eat thin, they eat tiny bugs and grow larger. Larger. When you have that G-E together, it makes the soft G sound. So instead of making the G sound, it makes the J sound larger. They eat tiny bugs and grow larger, grow bigger. Larger means bigger. Um, creatures is a kind of anything that's usually a living animal um, or even an insect in this case, they use it as a creature, something that is alive and uh, you're not sure what it is. So here they don't call them ladybugs, they just call them some, some kind of creature. Then you have sea creatures live in the sea. These are small creatures or tiny creatures, which are very, very small. 
Um, and then you even have other kinds of creatures, land creatures, flying creatures. So creature is used as another firm for, for like a, an animal. A creature is a kind of animal. Um, how about this one, Jeremy? The back of each love, lover opens. Inside, the ladybug is changing into its final form. It is wrapped in a shell to protect it. This wrapped up ladybug is called a pupa. The pupa goes through a rapid change. Soon the colorful ladybug is ready to emerge and fly away. Mm. Do you remember what the word rapid means? So the pupa goes through a rapid change. What is rapid? It's very fast. Yes, very good. Uh, and this change for the ladybug, it does happen very fast. So in this one, um, when, the, when the mother ladybug lays the eggs, those eggs begin to hatch after several days. How many days is several days? Is it like 100 days? No. Two days? No. Five days? Yes. Maybe. <laughs> Could be. Could be three days, four days, five days, six days. Um, but it's not a lot. So not a big number of days. Just a, a normal, uh, just a few, a couple. No, well, more than a couple. Couple is two. Um, so more than two days, but not a lot of days. And it takes several days for the little creatures to hatch. And they look like bumpy worms with legs. And that's kind of what it looks like, a bumpy worm. Whereas a worm looks like this one here. Looks like a small baby snake, but it's not. Um, these ones actually look like bumpy worms. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. <laughs> there, there would be our bumpy worm. Hmm. And that's what the, the ladybug larva kind of looks like. They look slightly similar to a, 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 a worm, a bumpy worm, though. Yoink. All right, so there is our, there's our stages. We get the eggs, the larva, then it becomes the pupa, and then eventually when it comes out of the pupa, it, it becomes a ladybug. It emerge and fly away. So does the larva have wings? Can the larva fly? No. 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 No, they cannot fly. They can't fly until after they come out of the pupa. After they come out of the pupa, then they can, they can fly away because the wings hide underneath the shell. This shell is uh, like a helmet for your head. We put on a helmet on our head to help protect our head. They have a shell instead of a helmet. Their shell helps to keep them safe and protected from somebody that wants to squeeze or try to, you know, a bigger insect might try to eat it and it can't, it can't get through. It's too hard, go away. <laughs> uh, so they're not easy insects to eat. All right, um, that's all that we had on this lesson. So we're pretty much gonna stop on that one. Mm -hmm.